Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, get, go, 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 go. No, no, not exit. <laughs> My double is going. I'm sure I clicked it. I did. Hello all and welcome to Star Citizen with me, Ironside McCall. Thank you so much for joining. Now, it's been a, a little while since the giveaway, granted, um, but I've been struggling really, A, with what kind of content um, to bring out that isn't, as you would say, lather, rinse, repeat, as I'm sure we're all um, struggling with that ourselves at the minute, trying to come up with some cool and interesting ways to, to play the game currently, as there's no... There's no sign of when 3.20 will be released. Um, so I have been thinking of different ways in which the channel can go. Um, and I've got a couple of video ideas that are not gameplay related. So they're just slightly slightly different, which will be coming out soon. So um, it'll be good to get your um, your opinions on that. And, you know, let's get busy in, in the comments and see what we think about that. So what I've been thinking is how can we ourselves play the game and enjoy the game but also feel a sense of achievement because yes we will get wipes inevitably obviously but how up until then can we get a sense of achievement and if it was a role playing game then obviously there's a lot there's a lot of achievements you can gather within a role playing game so how can we play Star Citizen as a role playing game and the only way the only feasible way I can think of that is uh, with your reputation and gaining further and more reputation maxing out all the reputation because you can't you can't grind character stats you can't grind gear to make better weapons to to forge better armor yourself that mechanic just isn't in the game hopefully it will be one day you never know you may be able to become an engineer and, and make everything yourself that would be super cool um, so I thought I would do it that way but also make it a little bit more fun by doing the videos in the style perhaps of a particular role. So this one we're focusing on, um, I have turned cruise control off, yeah, <laughs> just checking. Uh, we're focusing on our mercenary and bounty hunter reputation and we're doing it in the style of uh, a sniper assassin so we've got our sniper rifle here in the Corsair we're gonna go around and do some sniping we've got a cave here which is perfect for sniping I love doing some sniping in the caves um, we've got a wreck site as well over on yellow which is also good for all of your sniping needs obviously star citizen dependent <laughs> um, we will hopefully get a, a fun little bit of gameplay with sniping and get some reputation gains as well so I'm just gonna land head on into the cave and I'll meet you there making our way into the cave now I do love the caves because the the atmosphere and the sound that is that that is generated through these caves I really enjoy it's a good uh, it's a good bit of gameplay and you can tie it in with some hand mining as well although for me that's been a little bit rocky lately um, with them taking ages, sometimes not even breaking, so I'm not going to bother. Now, generally, yeah, there we go. Now, <laughs> I've got trusty P6 with a times 8 scope and obviously a suppressor. Um, I think these are the best um, to come in and do some sniping in the cases. Obviously, you can choose the A03 from Gemini as well, also a nice um, sniper rifle as well. However, I think the P6 has a slight better range and uh, and power on it. And obviously, as we are a sniper, we are trying to do one shot, one kill. <laughs> and that's just smashed him over. Now, there's generally about three in this chamber. You can see the torch lights, which is helpful. Now, they can see your torch light as well. So try, there he is. You might not see that in the video. Got him. Small delay on the firing there, so hopefully it's not going to be rubbish, but hey, you simply never know. And there's usually another one. Is that him there? There. Can't 
Oh, that was terrible. I tried to play yesterday and the... It was just a cluster fuck of of bugs and, and and all sorts. It was not a very good session yesterday, so I've not... Uh, I didn't record that or anything. It was just uh, not very exciting at all. Hopefully we'll have some better luck today, though. So that's one shot, one kill so far. Let's get a sprint on. I'm not sure if the NPCs can hear you, but they... Nah, he'd have heard, but they definitely do see torches. Uh, but they do not, however, respond to when you shoot one of their mates in the face. So, <laughs> we've got that going for us. So, six remaining. There's usually about three or four down in the final chamber. So, we may have two coming up as we make the leap of faith. <laughs> Those of you who have done the caves know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, just going to use Daymar's gravity and fall down. Now if you if you wanted to, you know, take some more time in here and do hand mining, it is a nice place to chill out for a while. Um, do highly recommend taking out all of the guards first, however, and then doing some mining. But there we go. You, oh, you can't see it just yet, but I think that's some some hadonite, is it? No, that's aphorite. Um, don't bother with aphorite, especially if you're hand mining. You need the most expensive for hand mining. Um, obviously, if you can go to the sand caves and get any jalanite, well, that is your best option. But that is extremely rare. Okay, I can see one slightly moving. But it's too dark. I can't quite there. Oh, yeah. Turn around. There you go. Perfect. So there's five left. He may have a friend with him. But of course, he's not too bothered that I've just shot someone. Oh. I've got a rogue player there and some nine tails. Right, he didn't have anyone with him. This is the leap of faith, which we all love. Uh, I'm going to try and jump over to this one here, and then it's just one jump. But, hey, I could fall down the entire thing. Why aren't I sprinting? Let's put the gun away. You have to make sure you've got a sprint on, otherwise it will not work. Yep. Nailed it. And there you can see a torch, so gun out. Can I get him? Yes, there we go. That's saying five. I thought we'd have had four. Why didn't that take him down? Ah, I was just about to say as well, so far we're good on the one shot, one kill. And I clearly pressed jump. Maybe I was crouched and I just ended up being <laughs> not crouched instead. Right, where's my little get up rock? There we go. It's like I've broken my leg or something, but I clearly haven't. Okay, he's down. So we've got four left. I can see a torch. Three. Now they're probably going to be... Oh, there's one. Whoa, I don't know what that was. This... Uh, it's not as smooth as I would have liked. There is still some desync and... 
strange things going on whilst zooming. But it's not too bad. There's two left. Now, if you stay for long enough, I think like in... Is that a torch? Like in the bunkers, the markers will come up. Right, one more. There. There we go. <laughs> Love it. Rinsed through a clear criminal nest with nest <laughs> nest with some sniping action. Not quite one shot, one kill. However, I'm not putting that down to my poor skill. <laughs> my skill in sniping is awesome. <laughs> uh, that's the game, obviously. Um, so we're gonna make our way out. I'm not doing. Oh, I'm not gonna make that. Oh, I nailed it. We'll make our way out and then head to a wreck site for some more sniping action. So I mentioned earlier a good RPG thing that I would like to see is like an engineer where you can um, collect items and then upgrade them as well. So that would come in, that could tie in well with some salvaging as well. So you go around salvaging gear, salvaging components to upgrade your either your FPS weapons, um, your ship weapons, your armor anything really to you know to to set it aside from the rest and, and maybe some cosmetics as well so that's something i think would fit in quite nicely um with the game and it's something to then work towards as well and um you can hire out your services as well i think that would be really good so let's see down see down in the comments below what other if any rpg aspects you would like to see um, in Star Citizen. I think there's quite a broad scope of possibilities that they, they, they could include and hopefully they will include some. Um, I, I can't imagine why not. So that's my one idea. Comment down below what you would like to see uh, and how it can currently tie in with what current gameplay um, there is. I think there's, uh, like I said, some good options, some good ideas out there and I'm sure you guys are a wealth of knowledge with that kind of stuff. So we're just, where are we? 61 clicks out. Uh, we'll skip ahead and I will see you just as I'm about to land. Not too far out now. And as you can see, the marker's changed. It now says target's location because I've combined this with a public enemy one as well over in the personal tab. Um, and it's two contracts in the same location. So you've got, you just have to take this guy out and then you have to clear the site of the of the remaining hostiles as well and yes he does count as one now this one here in yellow uh, you will get a cutty come over if you don't do it quick enough um, but you can and the the cutty will land at the bottom next to the wreck site but if you land just up here then the cutty when it's landed will not shoot you well, it hasn't every time I've come, which is why I'm going to do it now. Um, if you've got a ground vehicle with you as well, that's also handy. Um, if not, then you can run in and, you know, if you've got your sniper rifle, you are doing it. That's terrible. You are doing it from range, so it doesn't, doesn't really matter. You'll just need to get good line of sight. So we're going to land. I will take my... Uh, I've got the tumbler with me today. I will take that out, and then we'll see what we've got.
Making our way in the tumbler. I do love the tumbler. It's a, I think it's a great looking. Is that an enemy? It's a great looking uh, ground vehicle. Oh, there's the red, the red chevron. You may have seen that. There's our cutty inbound. Right here. No, it's not. I think all the hostiles will be further down. Now I've made one small change and I've put time 16 scope because hopefully we'll be doing it from further range. So I've got, uh, I know, some added distance radar contact. Now, if he starts, hello. Yeah, he's going straight down to land. I was going to say, if he did start shooting, I'm hightailing it back to the Corsair and taking it out. But that looks like it's landed. Look at that. Look at that. It's so cool. Now, go in this way to stay away from that bottom bit of wreck. In case there are any hostiles. And... Uh, the tumbler, of course, will just tumble on it, tumble on down. Like that. And I can just leave it there and hopefully. Now, where's that? I mean, there could be a ship in there, sure. Is it, was it a player? No, it's there. No, that's not a player with that name. Okay, but they, the hostel's name that I have to take out has uh, has now vanished, so I don't know where they are. Let's get out and see what we can see. Oh, no, 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 no! No, no, no! No, go, 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 go! No, no, not exit! <laughs> My tumbler's going. I'm sure I clicked it. I did. Well, maybe it's not going to stay as well as <laughs> as well as I thought. We'll just move it over here. But I haven't been spotted by anyone yet. No one's shooting at me. Right, it's got to be good there. Let's try again. Ah, there's a torch. Are they just spawning in now then? Right down here. There we go. That was fun. <laughs> but <laughs> it's just the one. Ah, here, okay, here, okay, here, here, here we go. Another torch over there, another torch here. They are just taking a while to spawn in. Ah, two here. No, oh, that was a terrible time to load. Oh. Oh, he's not moved. Okay, good. There's torches over there. I wonder if one of them is the guy I need to take out that I've just done. We'll have a look in a bit. Weather's clearing up nicely. Oh, keep your head on a swivel. Oh, 
Right, there's definitely some behind that part. Another one. Seven left. I imagine if I have taken the guy out already, I'd have had a contract complete, and I haven't seen that come yet, so don't think I have. Right, not as clear now. He's definitely down. Torch isn't moving. And it's pointing straight up. <laughs> get behind that other one. Oh shit, Torch it. Pardon my French. <laughs> torch is moving. Ah, oh, that was a bad zoom. Seriously? There we go. Almost point blank with a sniper rifle. Now, unless that was some collision physics. There's another torch flashing over there. That was silly armour. I think I've gone pretty much unnoticed as well, thus far. Definitely another torch I saw. There could be some inside as well. We'll have a look in a bit. Now this is not possibly the most efficient way or quickest way of doing it, but I'm not all about that. This is we are infiltrating, we are stealthing, we are snipers. And I can't see how there's still six left. <laughs> What's this? Nope. There we go. Five. Was that light him falling? Doing a very exaggerated Neymar death roll? <laughs> Not a football fan. I may have to start getting going in closer. The ones in the cutty, I imagine, are still there. I thought I just saw someone moving. I don't think I've taken out... the wanted, the public enemy yet I could put my torch on but if they see me then the game's up if there was good AI of course <laughs> oh Slightly nerve-wracking because you don't want to die. Because it is an absolute ball ache to come and get all your stuff. I will torch it for inside. Okay. Clear. What's that? Yes. Yep. 
Dingo down first shot. Four remaining. Now, another way, another option of doing this is to just burst in in your Ursa and take them all down. Yeah, sure. I don't find, I don't think that's as fun though. This has got an element of suspense to it. And it would be so good if uh, you had some confidence that all the hostiles were in fact going to be here. This is the bust up. Yeah, it's a bust up, Cutty. Now we do have that top bit up there where the cyclone is. There could be some there. I don't know. We'll have to check on the way back. This is turning into a slightly longer video than anticipated, but it's fun. Oh. It's cold and I am extremely dehydrated. What was that? Is the cutty even able to open? I think it has. I cannot see anyone else. Now, if. <laughs> Look at this. Persistent entity. Oh, good. Fine. Just clear up your mess as well because, or have something in place where you can clean it up at the same time. There's like three or four different wrecks here. I bet they didn't think of that because they could be pushed onto your hostile spawning zone. You just do not know. And I haven't got a buddy with me to come rescue me. No, nah, because it's not landed, look. They haven't deployed the ramp. I'm not going to. Okay. We've got one last bit to look at at the top there. And then I think I may just uh, call this one as a bust. Which is annoying and upsetting because you get here, you you commit your time to it, and then for no lack of trying, I have a quick look in here. Through no lack of trying, you can't complete the contract. Hmm. No. No loot boxes either. Poor form, CIG. Poor form. I mean, I think I've given quite a comprehensive sweep. I've gone all around the side and the back. Granted, I haven't been inside all parts of the cat. Let's go do that, may as well. This is where I get shot now. Oh. Not sure what that was. Yeah. Black box. I 
All right, no one in this compartment. I've looked in the other one. More mess up there. No. Right, well. Nope. Let's leg it back up the top. Have a look in this top section, although I'm not sure there'll be anyone in there. We'll head back in the course there, warm up and get a beer. Oh. No. I looked at that earlier, didn't I? I <laughs> thought that was one. Look at this lighting. Such a glorious game. It looks so good. Just wish it... Uh, the gameplay was a little bit more secure. That's that's all. Not 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 too much to ask for. All right. There's my lovely cyclone. We'll drive up. Quite a good vantage point. I can't see anyone roaming around outside. Can the awesome tumbler get me up here? Oh, it can, but my driving can't. That's why I love the Tumblr more than the Ursa for this. It's it oh, it's better designed. It looks cooler doing it, in my uh, humble opinion. Come on, make it over that. Don't make me look foolish now. No, nope, can't see anyone. Oh well. If uh, anyone has had any luck with these. Please let me know down in the comments, or if uh, I've missed something, perhaps let me know as well, and I can come back and try again. Um, where's the Corsair gone now? There. Uh, but those, well, the, cri the clear criminal nest, clear all hostiles was a bust. We were left with four. When we get back inside the ship. Where's the ship gone? Am I just... There. <laughs> when we get back inside the ship and we've warmed up, we'll check to see uh, if we've got the other one done. There we go. Nice beer down me after all that. That's an interesting way of putting it on the table, lad. <laughs> um, so... We didn't manage to complete both of those, unfortunately, but we did get the cave one done, um, which was nice. Um, some sniping action, a um, different way of perhaps doing those rec sites if you've not done that, just purely with a sniper rifle. There is, you can also, of course, go in and bust it with um, your Ursa as well. Um, thank you all to the new subscribers as well. Get me past that 500 mark. We are now, of course, on the push to 1000 where of course there will be another big ship giveaway uh, maybe on the road to 1000 there'll be some smaller giveaways as well we'll just see how quickly um, we can get there so thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed it make sure to leave uh, a comment down below about any rpg roles you would like to see um, added into the game at some point and of course if there's anything you do with these missions slightly differently if you've had 
better luck, for example. Um, take care all, have a great week, and I'll see you next time.